February 2nd, The Constraint of the Call Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16 Beware of stopping your ears to the call of God. Everyone who is saved is called to testify to the fact, but that is not the call to preach. It is merely an illustration in preaching. Paul is referring to the pangs produced in him by the constraint to preach the gospel. Never apply what Paul says in this connection to souls coming in contact with God for salvation. There is nothing easier than getting saved because it is God's sovereign work. Come unto me and I will save you. The Lord never lays down the conditions of discipleship as the conditions of salvation. We are condemned to salvation through the cross of Jesus Christ. Discipleship has an option with it, if any man. Paul's words have to do with being made a servant of Jesus Christ. And our permission is never asked as to what we will do or where we will go. God makes us broken bread and poured out wine to please himself. To be separated unto the gospel means to hear the call of God, and when a man begins to overhear that call, then begins agony that is worthy of the name. Every ambition is nipped in the bud and every desire of life quenched, every outlook completely extinguished and blotted out, saving one thing only, separated unto the gospel. Woe be to the soul who tries to put his foot in any other direction when once that call has come to him. This college exists for you and you to see whether God has a man or a woman here who cares about proclaiming his gospel, to see whether God grips you, and beware of competitors when God does grip you.